Oh, hey everyone. We're gonna take a walk today. Well, a little walk. Because it's, I don't even know why, just a little walk. So, um, quick video uh, message today that I wanted to share with y'all. You know, we've got all these riots and all these problems and things going on today. And one of the things that I became aware of is something that, that I read uh, this weekend. This weekend, I don't know if you know it or not, but the last pension check, now get this, a pension check, a check that's given to a pensioner, someone who earned that money from doing a service or a job. The last pension check from the Civil War was issued last week. Last week, the last pension check from the Civil War was issued. It doesn't seem like it was that recent, but the last pension check from the Civil War was just issued last week. It kind of reminded me of something else. As I remember when I was uh, doing hospital, no, excuse me, I'm doing hospital work now along with pastor work. The hospital work pays for what I do. Before I got out of the medical field originally, the lab field, one of the last jobs I had was working for a small doctor's office up in Alexandria, Virginia. I had a patient who was in her mid-90s. Really interesting talking to her. She was pretty much did, was healthy. But I remember talking to her, and this is about 20 years ago, and I said, wow, when I think of all you have seen in your life, um, she saw the car, radio, TV, motels, travel, um, air conditioner, computers, airplanes, all that come into existence. I said, that's a lot. And she told me, she said, yeah, Chris. She said, I can remember as a 10 year old girl sitting on my uncle's knee listening to him tell me about his experiences in the Civil War. This is a lady that I knew. Last pension check from the Civil War was just issued last week. It makes it seem really, really recent when I say it like that. And, uh, and it kind of is recent. Because one of the things that I've heard with all the racism and questions and police brutality is that many of us don't know history, the history of people within the black American community. And I have heard friends of mine, you know, the Civil War was so long ago. Why should we pay today? Why does that matter? Civil War was not that long ago when I ran into a lady who sat on her uncle's knee as a 10 year old girl. When I realized the last pension check from the Civil War was just issued last week. You know, and there is a lot of other more recent history that affected our great grandparents and our grandparents and maybe even our parents. I've heard of things that I know nothing about, Tulsa, uh, Tuscaloosa, Memphis, well, no, not Memphis yet, uh, Longwood, Rosewood. These are things that happen to people in the American black community where those communities were thriving, where the people there within these communities were successful and they were erased from the face of the earth and they were never talked about. I never learned about them. And there's a lot of hurt and pain that people today hear these stories about. You know, not to mention Memphis. Memphis is our parents. I was alive during Memphis when the riots happened. And DC and LA. There's been a lot of hurt. For those of you more recent, Rodney King and LA. You know, there's some very recent events that are not talked about and not taught. And when they talk about the Civil War, you know, oh, that's so long ago. We hear the personal stories today. So it made me think, maybe we need to learn some of these stories from the American black community. Maybe we need to understand what happened 
from these stories because people within the black community understand. I don't, but I want to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start listening even more than I have been and start learning because there is a lot of stuff, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of neglected stuff, I have to switch arms, that, uh, that I don't know. And I think when I think on this, I think of the Bible, and one of the things I think of is I think of these remembrances. You know, I talked about um, Yom Kippur. I talked about Sukkot. I talked about uh, remembrances within the Jewish community that are in the Bible, that are in Scripture. And maybe one of the reasons that we have these remembrances of events that happened is so they are still recent, still fresh, still known, still talked about, so that maybe they might not happen again. You know? So anyway, so that's a question I was asked. Wasn't all this stuff long ago? Yes, but no. Not really. Because it was never talked about. At least for me but it's still talked about within families and friends from people. Last pension check from the Civil War, last week, the 90-year-old patient that I had that told me about sitting on her uncle's knee, listening to him tell him about his experiences in the Civil War. That's my generation. So we need to learn about this stuff. We need to remember this stuff. We need to celebrate this stuff. We need to understand this stuff. And uh, so we can hopefully understand a little of the pain and anger and anguish that happens amongst people today because of what had happened just recently. All right, guys, that's what I got. Keep these questions coming. And uh, let's see if we can figure out answers. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, FL Compass Church. And find out all the latest updates at www.flcompasschurch.org. Let's get out there and let's learn and let's gain a little bit of understanding of each other. Be blessed. We'll see you Saturday.